Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be talking about my top 10 favorite songs of August, along with some honorable mentions. Please feel free to share your opinion in the comment section about your favorites this month. Anyways, here's the video. Please enjoy. I was anticipating talk that talk by twice so much. The teasers were serving, the highlight melody sounded great. But when it was released, I was kind of let down. It's not a bad song at all, but not even close to Twice's best title track. I liked the intro and the instrumental had potential, but it wasn't grand enough to be great. The chorus sort of fell flat after a few listens. It is super catchy, I'll give it that, but I cannot forgive Mamo getting like 5 seconds of lines for the 500th time. The album was kind of disappointing too. Queen of Hearts. It sort of reminded me of Ice One's Japanese releases but if Yina produced it. It had that very made in a toaster sound. All the B-sides except one sounded really off. And that song is. Basics by Twice is the reason that wigs were invented. And then snatched. This song is so fun and such an easy listen. I love this song so much. My only gripe is that it's a B-side so there is no music video. The beginning was so good, I can't even explain it. So was the pre-chorus and the chorus. This song gets a 7 out of 10. It's just too tasty to not put on this list. Whisper by the Boys was a song I was so confused by when I first heard it. But I took like a week break from it came back, and now I get it. It's really fun and puts me in a good mood. The whole song itself is made really well and has some really good parts. I just find myself not listening to it as much as I did a few weeks ago and it kind of already aged for me. I'm giving this a 7.1 out of 10 but I might just have to listen to it some more. I have a video coming out about Pink Venom so this will be a little short, but I'm so sick of K-pop stands. It kind of reminds me of the flip that situation with Luna where some orbits wanted a girl crush concept and other orbits wanted their cute concept back. Then they got a pure slash cute concept, and both sides were dissatisfied because it wasn't good enough. I understand that there was an almost two year gap between how you like that and Pink Venom but you're listening to Blackpink. Not infinite or groups that give you big extravagant title tracks that show a lot of emotion and have very complex arrangements. Blackpink made a song, it was good, I can't really point out anything that stood out, I just liked it. I'd give this a 7.3 out of 10, but when the album comes out I'll share my full thoughts on the album and release as a whole. So I've been following Luminous since pre-debut and I've liked all their songs. Their debut with Run was really good and their following comebacks were good. But this album, at least the songs you've listened to have been so good. Marionette, Engine, and Creature are the best but I can't tell you about the others because I still haven't listened to them yet. The chorus is really catchy and has been stuck in my head since it came out. I'm giving this a 7.4 out of 10, but maybe when I listen to the whole album, it will sound even better. Pop? Pop. Is what Weekly could have been before Venpara. This is the closest to G-Friend that we will get and I'm all here for it. The beginning really sets the scene for the whole song with their soft voices, paired with the occasional pop. Then it goes on and the build up to the chorus really reminds me of G-Friend. The visuals of the music video reminds me of the Me Gustas 2 music video. The chorus is actually the best thing I've ever heard in all of existence. The post-chorus is also amazing just like the rest of the song. If Vecna ever gets me, I want you to play this song because I will fall back down and dance my heart out.
This is a solid 8 out of 10 and this is one of my favorite releases this year. Then no. Okay, two things. One, I understand the problem with the lyrics. And yes, they are very questionable and I do not support Minhee Jin too. This song is so addictive. Whatever they put in these cookies they were, baking, must have worked because I don't go a day without playing this song and dancing to it. Is it as good as Hype Boy or Attention? No, but it is really catchy and addictive. The verses are the best part, followed by what I think are raps. I am so exited for New Jeans's first comeback and I really hope they go with the hip hop. In my vibe sound they had with Hype Boy and Attention, but I wouldn't be mad if they went with this smooth, upbeat KRNB sound either. Overall, this is a 9 out of 10. The only reason it isn't higher is because of those. Lyrics. Take my hand and grab my hips. Swing around and turn your wrist. Take my hand and grab my hips. Swing around and turn your wrist. Lean back, baby, let me let. A little boogie woogie is all we need. I didn't bother to listen to this song because of Gravity's name being attached to it. And nothing against the members, but the music is not good. I loved Adrenaline and some of their B-sides off of their first album but I didn't really have a reason to listen to this song. Until, Planet Minji recommended it on his channel and I finally listened to it and my whole life changed for the better. Everything about this screams fun and I wish the lyrics would come true because this sounds like a whole what the. This gets a 9.1 out of 10 and it probably will be higher once I listen to it more. This comeback was so unexpected, especially after Jinga Minga Yo. I thought they were going to stick to this silly and fun concept. And after Pat Bingsu, I was fully convinced. But then I saw the photo teasers and then the MV teasers and I was sort of worried. I really loved their past two releases, even though I love all their songs. The fun concept suited them so well. So when I saw it was going to be a rock song, I didn't know if they could pull it off. Then the song came, and my wig flew all the way to Korea. Moon Swa shined this comeback. She fit the concept so well. The fake out in the chorus is really well done and doesn't feel forced. I think Planet Minjay said this in his review video for Ring Ma Bell, and I agree. I'm glad they didn't do the fake out in the second chorus, because you expect it, therefore making the fake out, not a fake out. Everything is perfect and Billy is slowly becoming one of my alt groups. The B-sides were also amazing and this whole mini album was very cohesive. This is a 9.5 out of 10 but it will continue to grow on me because it only came out a few days ago. After like a song of the year contender. After I heard it was going to have interpolation from I Will Survive, I started jumping. This song is perfect. The one singular problem with it, is that it isn't long enough. The chorus is so addictive and makes me feel like I'm in an edit. I know people were hating on the pre-chorus for its auto-tune, but I think they used it really well. This is definitely Isu's and Liz's era. I could not be more exited for another Ive song. My satisfaction, was definitely, A, B-side. I didn't like it that much. But after like as a standalone song, was so good. This is a 10 slash 10 and I will stand by that. Overall, I think this was one of the better months for K-pop this year and I really enjoyed a lot of the releases. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, press subscribe and hit the bell. Have a nice day and bye.